In this video, we're going to take a closer look at the launch pad. Remember, you can bring up the launch pad by using the icon here or by pressing F4. And it gives me a list of all of the applications on my computer. Now, what you may not know is that we can move these around. I can drag and reposition. It's very smart about how it does this. But there are multiple pages of apps. If I swipe to the right using two fingers, you'll notice there's nothing there. Swipe to the right and left, it's just bouncing. But let's say I want to create a page of just my games. So I have Game Center, I have the Solitaire we downloaded, maybe I'll put my photo booth on there. So let's do that now. I will drag Game Center, and I'll drag it all the way to the right until I get a blank page. And then I'll just drop it. Notice down at the bottom, I have two dots. It shows I'm on the second page. To get back to the first, two finger swipe. Now let's take my solitaire and drag that over to the right. And we'll drop that. Two finger swipe to the right. And let's add photo booth. And once again, I can rearrange these however I want. I can't create a new row, but I can change the order. There's also a search field up here. I can type iPhoto. It shows right up. If I just type i, it shows me all of the apps that begin with i. And to get out of the search bar, I click the X right here. Now another thing we can do is we can create folders. So I can move, let's say, this iMovie over iPhoto. Notice I've created a new folder here. I'll change it to video and photography and click this again. And now you see a folder with two icons in it. Let's take that photo booth application and drag it into the same folder. Take photo booth and drag it all the way to the left and just drop it over the folder. And there it is. And I can rearrange things within my folder as well. If I want to take something out of the folder, I just drag it out. So I can create lots of folders. Maybe I want to put my music apps in here as well. And if I want to change the name, just open up the folder and click on it and change it to music, video, and photography. To delete an application is very simple. You just pick an application, let's say this solitaire, and hold my trackpad down until it begins to shake. This is very similar to iPhones and iPads where you want to delete or move an application around. And if the application can be deleted, I have an X there. I can click it to remove it. I'm not going to remove Solitaire now, but I would just click on that X. Notice, by the way, none of these applications have Xs, which means that I can't remove them from the launch pad. Now what I can do is take an application that I access frequently and move it down to my dock. This is a Hewlett-Packard utility for managing my printer, and I access it frequently to check my ink levels and things like that. So I can drag it right down and stick it in my dock somewhere, let's say right there, let go, and now it's in my dock. It's still in the launch pad, but now I have a quick access to it from my dock. I can always drag it out of my dock if I want, and it will disappear. One other little trick, if you want to change the background of your launch pad, you can go from your desktop background to something else by pressing all three modifiers, Control, Option, Command, and the letter B. Notice everything starts to shake. I'll press B. I now get a cloudy version of my desktop. Press it again. I get a black and white version of my desktop. Again, a cloudy black and white version. And I can cycle around. Let's keep it black and white. And now I can tell when I'm in my launch pad because I go into black and white world, makes my icons pop. Of course, the real reason to have Launchpad is to get access to your applications quickly. Wherever I am, I can press F4, bring up the Launchpad, and then quickly click on an icon and bring up that application. So that's a closer look at the Launchpad.